What's up world? J-Day here. And today I'm going to show you something I invented which allows me to feed my dog from anywhere in the world with my iPhone. And I call it the iPhone Fido Feeder 5. So before we show you how it works, I'm going to give you a little background. <clears throat> I live very far from work and from where my friends hang out. So if I get a call or text at work saying, hey, let's go out tonight, or I'm also a freelance flight instructor, so if somebody wants to go flying after work, I have to come home to feed my dog and then go to the airport and go fly. Well, I live very far away, so uh, that is very prohibitive for gas and also time. <clears throat> so I went out and I got this. That is an automatic dog feeder, which you can program, and it works great. It is programmed to feed him every morning at 6 o'clock, and so I don't have to get up, so that's kind of nice. And if I happen to know that I am going to be away that night, then I can program it to, to feed him at night. <clears throat> now, the problem is, is if I'm already at work, and I get a text message or a phone saying, hey, let's go out tonight, then I have to make a decision. Do I go all the way home, feed the dog, and then drive all the way out, where my friends are and more times often than not I decline the invitation because it's about a 30 mile round trip to go home and therefore it takes about an hour out of my life not to mention the gas that I'm spinning <clears throat> so I wanted a contraption that would allow me to feed my dog remotely from my iPhone that would be perfect so I thought that I could find such a device on the internet. So I did a brief search and I found this. This is a PetNet uh, wireless pet feeder that you can access from anywhere on the planet through the internet. And I thought, great, sign me up, I'll take one. Well, the problem is, is that this product doesn't actually exist yet. They are still in the research design phase and they are taking reservations for uh, uh, for orders <clears throat> that are even you know yet to be built. So that wasn't going to work. So a few weeks ago, I was on an airplane and I was browsing Sky Mall, and I came across this wireless camera that you can access through the internet. And I thought at the time, oh, this is kind of neat. You know, I could buy this and kind of uh, keep an eye on my dog, you know, from anywhere uh, in the world on my iPhone. And then you see how it is pan and tilt? So it's, it's it articulates. So I just kept thinking about it and thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? If I can control a fully articulating piece of machinery from the Internet, then I can make up some sort of Rube Goldberg machine to be able to feed my dog. So, what I did, like any other human being that wants to find something uh, that you've seen in a retail shop or in a magazine, I got on eBay and I bought it for half the price. There you go, $76. So I got the camera and I went to Home Depot and I spent about an hour just walking up and down the aisles looking at all the materials that they had and I came up with uh, a way to utilize this camera to make an automatic dog feeder and this is what I came up with so you'll see I have it all built and I have the camera all set up and I have a shortcut to my new camera IP which I have named Feed the Dew because my dog's name is Dewey and I click on that and I select mobile phone which is what I'm on and it brings up the interface for the camera so the camera is actually inside that trash can and that's what we're seeing here and so I go down here and I click on this button which is a pan mode but I call it the feeder button and let's see what happens boom 
I have just fed my dog from anywhere in the world. Let's take a look at how it works. So inside here, you see obviously there's the camera and I built this little contraption here. Hi Dewey. And I have this can right here which I call the hopper. And I fill that with food. And when I click on the pan function, as you can see, the camera starts to rotate and this little arm right here hits the can and makes it fall over. And Dewey gets fed. Now this worked out especially well because this camera uh, is infrared capable so even with the cover on when it comes up on my iPhone I can see inside of the dark container. So what that tells me is that I can pan the camera and I can see the bottom of the can and I know for a fact that my dog has been fed. So, anywho, hope you enjoyed it. Just thought I would share. Thanks.